Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Ranger Air 260 MPX. So, just got my demo unit in. Um, in this video, we're going to go over the functions, capabilities. Uh, we're going to weld with it. We're going to show off the air side of it. I'm going to go over the jumper cable side of it too. Um, but let's just dive right in. I'll go over the functionality of this machine. So, as you can see, nice clean white paint. One of the you know newest designs by Lincoln there, uh, painted white. It, uh, Everything used to be red, right, or black, or that gray, and this one's white, but pretty close, similar to the uh, 330 MPX. Front doors open up. Um, we got everything hooked up. Got our cable leads and everything. Batteries behind that box, but on this unit we got two 220 plugs, two 110 plugs, GFCI reset here, um, and w along with the digital screens on the 330, the 260 Air here has a digital screen. With the home function, we're going to turn that on here in a second. I'm just going to walk you around this unit first. We'll shut that back up. We've got our jumper cables hooked up here. Uh, pretty awesome. New to this unit, uh, the Ranger Air. It's got the jumper cable capability. On our side here, easy access to our oil filter. Um, Kohler motor, powering the, the air compressor and the welder. Uh, got our gas tank here. And then on the back side, exhaust and what I wanted to show you on the back here was the air filter for the air compressor so um, this just turns comes out and that's your air filter for the compressor side of things uh, this is the compressor door for changing your filters out for your compressor and you can see here I got my hose hooked up two ports on the side I just put a 15 foot hose on just to show this off but one port in the back one port on the side so we can take that out and then put our fitting in, which comes with the machine. And we can hook our air hose up. Here's our bleeder line for air oil there. And then we got on this side here, just ends an engine access bay. Now you notice on these on the 330 and the 260 here we got foam. So that sound ending foam, pretty awesome. Inside serial number, code number, build date, everything part number. Awesome little unit, but nice, crisp, white, very clean looking machine. Um, on the top here, got another door opens up, air filter, oil, and we got our manual on in there as well. But very cool, very cool. I like that sharp looking white, very clean looking. Um, an awesome little unit here. So let's go and we'll turn this on. You're gonna hear that's the fuel pump firing up. We got gas in the unit. The screen's gonna take a minute to toggle through, but we won't start it yet because we're gonna go through all the functions first. But we have our home button, a remote button, our air compressor button, engine start button, our help desk here, and then our back button. So when we're navigating the screen, we can use those front buttons, and then this is also a button as well. I'll show you here, it takes a second for it to start up. All right, so we've got our fuel gauge. Engine's not running, we got our air. So when we fire up the air, we're gonna get a PSI rating on, on that. So on this unit, we can stick weld with it, go toggle over, flux cord self-shielded wire, uh, get flux cord gas shielded wire, and then we can also MIG weld with this. So this is all gonna be with a suitcase LN25 feeder off the front of this. We can TIG weld with it as well, DC electro negative only, and it has a direct connect spool gun that you can buy with this package, and we'll link it down below. But it plugs right into this unit and powers that spool gun. There's no, um, components that you have to connect to it other than just directly to this unit. We've got our jump start. So what, what do we want to choose battery wise? And we can go into that. What do we want a 12 volt lead acid or 24 volt lead acid to jump start? Pretty neat. We'll hit our back button here. Go over to the engine. That's going to give us our, all our engine specs and gives us our life. We'll, we'll toggle into that. So that gives us our oil, air filter, fuel filter, alternator brush, and spark plug life pretty awesome and it tells you all this we'll go back and then we got our air compressor so if we click onto that it'll tell us how much air we're gonna get um, I'll show you that when we turn it on though and we got our settings and that's just gonna give us all our different things uh, display units language factory reset that sort of thing restrictions clock everything like that that we want to either change or get into we'll go back here and then also we'll go so on the front screen, we got our gas, we got our air up top in the left-hand corner, then that little symbol right there means the engine's not running, but when we fire it up, it'll turn green and it says that it's running. Also, this unit has a remote start, so it comes with two key fobs, and as long as we leave it on the, in the run position and we hit the button, she'll fire right up. Pretty awesome. 
Oh, it has that nice remote start feature, but you can see on the front, we got our home screen remote air engine that'll start our engine. We got our help the help button there, and that's gonna uh, when we go into like our engine sort of thing, we can hit help, and it'll tell us how many quarts of oil we have, uh, engine oil filter numbers, fuel filter numbers, air filter numbers, that sort of thing. Pretty awesome that we can have all that built in, so we never forget what we need to get when we go to do service changes. So let's toggle on that. And what we'll do here, uh, we'll go back to stick welding. Um, I'll get suited up and we'll try this thing out. We'll, I'll fire it up and I'll show you guys how the air works and how it stick welds. All right, so we're all geared up here. Let me show you this. So oh, this is a kit that you get from Lincoln. Uh, we'll link it down below. Um, these are the jumper cables that it comes with. And they are heavy duty. That is some, it seems to be like two out cable. Um, very heavy duty set. 25 foot so you can reach and then also pretty easy to connect and disconnect um, which is which is very nice so it's pretty easy to use plugs right in I like how they hit it off to the side real slim feature like so if you got this thing tucked in a back of a service truck at least you're not trying to come in on the side you can come right in on the front there like that that's really nice um, and I'll show you here I got my air hose hooked up but before I fire this up, I was going to show you guys I got 15 foot air hose. Now, we just built this custom the air hose, but it does come with the fitting that goes into the block. The air. We're going to put our uh, die grinder on here, and uh, I'll show you here. Let's, uh, before I fire this up, though, it, was, it just gets loud, and I wanted to show everybody, but we'll fire it up.
So what you hear now is just that residual air that's draining out the back side. It's just taking pressure off that block inside. But you can see it ran that needler just fine. And actually that, that weld turned out really, really nice. That thing had a nice smooth arc. Um, the arc strike was a little rough for me. I had a uh, piece of slag that was chipped off on the end though, so it stumbled a little bit, but that was not the machine that was just my, my rod doing that. But man, it, it carried that nice arc. I was at 120 amps. Um, pretty awesome machine. So you can see the versatility here. We have air, got our needler hooked up. We had our welder. Now if I just had a dead vehicle, we could have jump started something while we were here too. But all in all, very nice unit. It's compact um, and it does a lot of things. So, you know, if you're on the road or you're a mobile guy, um, I would definitely take a look at one of these. As far as doing, you know, if you're looking at something with an air compressor, definitely an option for you right here. Awesome running unit. Uh, very impressive. But if you've got any questions, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. And uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.